new thinking is necessary. It has to be thinking that is grounded in realities of fundamental challenges. And they may be demographic, political, environmental, geographic, and so forth, but new thinking. And I suspect early on when planning uh, a mission or in the early days, a leader ought to be pushing more, demanding more for innovation and new thinking, because if left to simply take the satisfactory or the comfortable, that is probably a pathway uh, to continued policy failure. But today, we are dealing with uh, essentially groups within a country, intrastate, which implies uh, more policing, which implies more uh, strengthened efforts to ensure that uh, there is development of local capacities, but it also implies that we are dealing with the unfortunate developments, like, for example, while we are not an anti-terrorist outfit, but we deal in situations, we work in situations where terrorism operates alongside us. So you talk of technology, but we have to keep abreast with technology in order to avert the disasters which uh, these terrorists can actually inflict upon us. What history shows us is we have to keep a, an open mind to what peacekeeping needs to be. And 10 years ago, we thought it was one thing. In five years, it might need to be something else. What we have seen in the disaster response area is much more tension going on into disaster risk reduction. The other ways that we've seen this move forward is the adoption of the resilience agenda by many governments and foundations, um, seeing ways that countries, again, can mitigate risk, can build their resilience to withstand shocks and to anticipate them and prevent them. I view this more in positive than negative terms, but if you look globally around the world, I would say the welcome mat for international relief aid is declining. There is a higher interest in regional self-reliance, national and regional self-reliance, to do things within and among regions. So you don't have to get a huge outside influx of well-intentioned assistance. We're building the regional pillars of global stability, both in terms of the disaster preparedness as well as the conflict response. We continue, I guess, having had a traditional model of response internationally, we've shifted to an internal response and local government stability uh, and reinstating law and order within a country. So that's a, a quite a different environment because it takes a long time to rebuild those capabilities. Why wait for exhaustion of capacity? Uh, we should be able to bring in when we realize that we are already operating at 80% of the capacity, so therefore it is likely to be overwhelmed in the near future. That is the time to bring in additional capacities rather than to wait for complete exhaustion of capacities, and then it is impossible for the civilians to do the work as also for the military to do its work. I do think we need to look again at how um, delivery systems can be made much more efficient and there are ways to do things cheaper, better, faster, <laughs> or maybe at least two of those three. And this is where new technologies hold such promise. We have in all of our missions a best practice officer, we call them. So they're kind of our reach into the missions to learn what they're doing on the ground. So we've got quite an excellent database now of all kinds of feedback from the most minute technical area of logistics through to high level political engagement and so on. So it's kind of live, horizontal sharing of information across the missions. I believe in leadership by example, whereby uh, you work tirelessly for the welfare of your people. And if you do that, they'll follow you to the ends of the earth, particularly if you empower them. You've really got to sort of trust your own judgment, um, have confidence in the things that you learnt for many, many, many years um, and use that as a basis to move forward. If we're not prepared to sort of exercise judgment in taking informed risk, um, then the, the situation gets away from us. I mean, one of the things I've found over the years which has served me well in, in all the different roles is the ability to self-reflect and learn personally from involvement in any of these situations. Reflect personally, reflect upon the environment, reflect upon what others have said and done and how they've reacted so that you know, we can get better at what we do. Because if we don't, 
um, as the world moves on, if we keep doing things the same way, we become more and more out of touch as opposed to more and more in touch.